He's about to run a wheel off. <laughs> Be aggressive. Set the code and let her go. <laughs> the more you know. Nice car. All that jazz. She nicey. Oh my. What? Grass how to it. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. Get that one. Oh, I'll get a strong pinky. Butter. <laughs> <laughs> it's been through some stuff. Holes. So. Okay, um. Easy install. Kinkle dinkle that. That's yeah, this is called cool. nicotine. Hey. Feel it, feel it. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh no, whoa. Oh, oh no. <laughs> we tore the streets up. <laughs> she gets nervous. I get it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Roached. Oh my, okay. Oh. Love it. Zero. You like this now? Hi. Good. Oh. It was an accident. The pig. Henry the eighth, I am. Oh. You're such a dingus. That's a lot, y'all. Okay. Them glow sticks. The swaggy. <laughs> what? Sheltering right now. Literally could not look any better. Lucy Goosey. Soft in the nature. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Go for it, Ralph. Ugh. You're so nosy, guys. We're back with Wawa's Beetle. The long awaited project is finally here. If you watch our channel, she got this when she was 14, paid $2,000 for it, and we got her running and driving. And if you watch the channel, you know she rips it around the yard quite a bit. It's been a while since we made a video because we've been waiting on some parts. We actually are still waiting on a couple parts that we don't know when they're going to show up. So we just decided to go ahead and work on it because she's 15 now. Yeah. And she's going to have her permit very soon. And she would like to drive her car with me in there. So we got a bunch of parts here that we bought. Some things sent by fans as well. Uh, we got a roof rack sent by fans and some other cool upgrades. So we've got a little bit of everything here. We got like an underdash rack. We got a headliner, a really cool shifter. We got stuff to change the oil. We need to adjust our valves. In order to do the headliner, we have to pull the quarter glasses, front and back glass. So we got a lot of things we got to do. But what what is your car? It's a 71 Super Beetle. Okay. Obviously got the little air-cooled flat four cylinder. Yeah. Um, we have changed the oil before, but we never took out the like oil filter screen and cleaned it out. We've never adjusted the valves. Things you're supposed to do, you know, every oil change or so. I guess let's dive right into it. What do you want to start with? Let's do the tie rods. Oh, we got tie rods. I'd already forgot about them. <laughs> yeah. So this thing has the death wobble, it's where the steering wheel goes crazy in a turn. It only does it in turns for the most part. Yeah. We jacked it up, traced that down, and figured out that we had wore out tie rods on both sides. So we got new tie rods for it. Mm -hmm. Good call on that. That's an important upgrade. She also wants to lower it, so yeah. we got to do that as well. I guess let's get right into it. Yep. All right, roll back. It's so right about there. That's pretty good. It's cold out here this morning, guys. <laughs> That's why we're all bundled up. I don't know how you guys do it up north. I just don't know how. We couldn't make it. <laughs> we would die. <laughs> Ralphie, can we get a reenactment of the death wobble? Yeah, something about like that right there is what it does. These are built so weird compared to what I'm used to. Basically like a stamped steel floor pan, and that's your frame, and it all bolts to the body. It's really odd. That's what it does right there. Both sides are that way. I thought it was ball joints, but it was actually the tie rod. Mm -hmm. Hear that? That's what it sounds like, too. Yeah, it? it sounds like that. Pretty bad. Not something good. I blame it on Mike. I mean, yeah. he oh, drove it. He did drive it. You doggy! Oh, yeah! 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 Oh, ye
<laughs> we'll have to check them all now. I'm freaked out. You're gonna have to keep that in your trunk. Frunk. Probably. Golly. There you go. Okay. That was loose? No? no. That other side must have been yeah, washed side. One's loose. Oh, that one's loose? No. Ooh. That one's is loose. That's not good. Oh, this is loose too. Those all seem tight. Oh, that one's loose right there. Huh. Oh, why are they loose up? I don't know. That's Who weird. Knows? An old timey Ooh. trick is like put a piece of gravel or a nut or something in there on somebody else's car. And then when they go driving down the road, it like makes all kinds of noise. That's terrible. That's hilarious. <laughs> terrible thing to never do. I've done that to anybody. Oh, sure. He's heard. Guys, we're just a couple days away from Valentine's Day. And me and Tosh are in a long-term relationship. This Valentine's Day is going to be 22 years since we went on our first date on Valentine's. And you know who else I've been in a long-term relationship with? My Raycon Everyday Earbuds. Absolutely love these things. If you notice a lot in the time-lapse footage, I'm wearing these while I'm working on the car, you know, grinding, doing something noisy or time-consuming. Got my Wild West podcast going and just getting my work done. I'm focused. Huh. So Bill Cody invented the term Wild West? These things will stick with you for the long haul. Now, they'll last eight hours on a single charge, but in their charging capsule here, you can actually recharge the earbuds three times. So 32 hours worth of battery life just off of one of these. And I don't know about you, but I can't work that long straight, you know, not unless I got a bunch of RC Colas in me. They're so much more comfortable than any other earbuds I've ever had before. You're probably familiar with the hard ones. They feel absolutely awful in your ear. And after just a few minutes of those, I'm just ready to take them out. That's why I gave up on earbuds until I got my everyday earbuds from Raycon. Not only are they comfortable, but they come with these optimized gel tips that make for a perfect in-ear fit no matter what size ear hole you got. They won't fall out. Copperhead Road comes on the radio. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You're not going to lose them. They have great audio quality and they're half the price of other premium audio brands. They work so good that I actually had to buy a second set because Wawa stole my first pair. You may not can see it sometimes for her hair, but she's usually got earbuds in listening to something all the time, whether she's working or not. With what you're getting for the money, it's no wonder they've gotten tens of thousands of five-star reviews. So they claim these things are good up to 33 feet away. We're gonna put it to the test today. I've got my Wild West podcast going. Let's see how far they work. Results may vary, but that's how they work for me. So click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash sleeperdude for 15% off your Raycon purchase plus free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash sleeperdude for 15% off your Raycon purchase plus free shipping. How can you beat that? And it's a perfect gift for Valentine's Day. Big thank you to Raycon for sponsoring this video and helping support our channel. If you use that link, it's gonna help support our channel as well. Now let's get back to the video. Oh, not too bad this time. I'm gonna say it's, it's something. It's been a long time. Something metric that's probably strange. I'm gonna guess a 19. Yeah. Hey, what did I say? Wait. Is that it? Yes. Yes. Check, Kim. This my check coming on that. It's working. That's a pretty common size for a lug nut. It does make it harder to put them on when they're bolts. That is true. You can't sell them. This thing has done more field miles than it has road miles. Oh, yeah. With us, at least. A lot of laps in the field. I forgot how light these work. Yeah. Super easy to pick up. They're the same as the front runners on our drag cars. Yeah. Why don't you look at this hay she's got shoved up and up and in here? Look at how small these coils are. Those are incredible. You might cut them with a wire cutter. You can't cut them with a wire cutter. Maybe like a bolt cutter or battery. Torch. Torch. Torch it. Yeah. See how worn out they are? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got the wiggles, doesn't it? She shot. The wiggle and the jewel. She shot out. Well, they don't have a cotter pin in here. They have like a piece of coat hanger or something, I a think. Nail. Just straight through like that. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. I'll figure that out now. Pretty good with it. You think so? Yeah. We'll have to see some evidence on that. Especially on ratchets, I know it's always worse. Wrong way. Is push that, it that way. What? Yeah. Get that hand hammer. Am I watching this? No. You gotta push it that way. Okay. Golly. Go. She is stuck on there. Here, just go, just go all the way. 
Mm -hmm. And then it won't move anymore. What size is it? A 19. Okay. There are eight. Yeah. It is not going off there. <laughs> I think she's like extremely stuck on there. I'm definitely getting it. Can we do it with the impact? <laughs> Give me the goods. I got it. I've been trying to take this cotter pin out and it's turning into small pieces is what it's doing. I'm trying my best to get it out of here without breaking these last couple bits off of here, but it's not really, oh, there we go. Oh, I was getting worried about that one. I've had best luck hitting it like right here. You don't want to hit those threads is the main thing. Yeah. This is like gonna come off or like? Shouldn't pop up. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> there you go. They make like a tool for that and it also works, but that seems to work pretty good right there. Can I try to do the other side? Yeah. Already loose. <laughs> Seems like our ball joints are good. Now we just need to get it off on the inside, guys. How do you do that? It's oh. the same way. Oh, okay. Thank the Lord that one's pretty easy to get out. You never know what you're going to get with those cotter pins like that. This is your eccentric adjustment to set your camber and stuff. Is it going to break loose easy? <clears throat> yeah. What is that? That's your lower controller. This is your drag link here. Up above my head is the sway bar, which also sets your caster and stuff. It locates where the front end is. It's hard to get a swing on it. So it's still not loose. It's crazy. All right, we're gonna have to do something different. Well, this is the tool I spoke of earlier. I think we're gonna have to use it in this case for the fit. It's a little wide for this one. I really probably need one a little narrower. What I got is called a pickle fork. It goes in there and basically pushes them apart. Can somebody hold this tie rod up? Yep. Got it, Wall? Yeah. There you go. I really don't like using that on a part I'm going to reuse. It usually tears the rubber and stuff. This thing is really rusty. And there's like a dampener, like a anti-death wobble dampener here. I need to get that cotter pin out and you can see it's super rusted up and I can't even get to the top of it. So I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't want to pull too hard on this side and snap this thing off. I can get into here with a screwdriver. Try to straighten those little plugs out there. There's just not much access to this wall. You got this. I feel so much more confident now. I'm surprised you haven't ripped your master cylinder wires out as much as you field drove this car. Yeah, they have grass surprised. on them. I'm very surprised too. I might have to not field rip it as much <laughs> if I lower it, which we're going to lower it, so. <sighs> I'm broke. Well, snap. Wah. What'd you do, too? <laughs> it broke. Fun time. It broke the cotter pin. I was trying to be careful. <sighs> Well, now how am I going to get it out? Can I pull it the other direction now? Yeah, I think if you get where I'm at, you can pull it right out the top. I think I can get it. My hands are so cold, but they're not working well. <laughs> I usually try to grab it, but not hard enough to break it off and then twist. I mess up that canter coat now. I know, it's my good coat. Oh, it broke. <laughs> try to loosen this thing up with some heat. Maybe the car pin will come out. Oh, she's glowing, isn't she? Yeah, she was. This worked with me. I don't want to have to like drill this stupid thing out or something. Come on. There's just not nothing to grab. I'm going to try to wiggle it back and forth. See if that does anything. Maybe I'll clean some of the rust out and let it move. Give me something. Work with me. I think you're getting it. I don't think I am. I think you are. It's moving, but I, don't, I think it's just going left, right, left, right. I don't think it's coming down any. Mm -hmm. It's going to snap before long with that right there. Is it moving there? I, uh, I think it's just breaking it off. I don't know what we're going to have to do here. You can see it's wiggling in there. 
but it refuses to come out. Okay, that went up somewhere. There you go. Knocked it out. I had to get a little fine chisel. Oh, finally. I was really worried we were going to have to like drill it out or something. Now if we can just get it to fall out of the drag link here, we'll be good. Whoop, whoop. There you go. So we want to even up our tie rods here to what this was. They actually make some tools to do this. Remember we saw some at PRI that mm -hmm. did that. Really, you can just do it like this or you can measure it either way. You see how the length difference is? See how much shorter that is? So if you just install this the way it comes out of the box, it'll be way off. So you should be able to hold both ends and spin it one direction. And one end is left-hand threads, which is this end, I believe, and the other end is right-hand threads. So it's growing from both ends while you do that. Right, Wall? Right. So you were still way off. Give it a bunch of turns here. Going the wrong way here. Yeah, I, I noticed that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for... It's gonna throw it off if we lower it anyway, so we're gonna have to line it up. This just gets you close, you know? Yeah. Closer than you would have been if you didn't do it. Right there is pretty good. Are we just gonna cut the coils? Yeah. Torture? I actually looked at getting like a lowering kit because they correct the spring rate so it doesn't ride rough kind of deal. Yeah. I couldn't find a single kit to do it, so I don't know why that is. Probably something I don't know. <laughs> So these are supposed to be like 90 degrees of each other because of the way they mount up. I'm just gonna like snug them up here. I think you're good. Ah, it's snug right there. <laughs> this one's weird because this nut has no threads. It sits on top of that. This sheet metal tab bends over this end and locks it in place. As you guys have probably seen in the older videos, this thing sits up really high in the front, even compared to the back. Like it sits yeah. up a good probably three inches higher in the front for whatever reason. We are gonna try to change that right now. My idea is to put a spring compressor on it in the car like this if we can. See where it ends right here? So if we cut it here, it'd lower it some, cut like a coil off of it and see what that does. Makes me nervous, these spring compressors. Yeah, they're a little nerve wracking, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Right, there you go, some pressure, huh? I can't really get the impact on this side though. At least they're not thick springs. Yeah, they're pretty thin, which there's not much weight on the front, you know? Yeah. We've done this as a humdingers, ain't we? <laughs> we have done this a lot. <laughs> I think that's part of why it stays up so high, because there's not weight in the front. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying, why does the back sit down? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just no, the back squatted more because the way the engine, I don't know. Usually you have the opposite problem. Usually an old car is like squatted over the years, you know? This thing sits up high. She's almost that. Was it bulldogging or? Yeah, bulldogging, yeah. That Carolina squat. Yeah. You know the deal. <laughs> now we have no spring pressure on it. Oh, we do right here, but you know. You know, sometimes you have a spring that ends with a flat spot, like they shave this off at an angle. Sometimes they're just a coil like that. I'm trying to see what the top is. If the top is flat, then this thing can turn any direction. Uh, it's just like the bottom. It looks like it does like this. All right, well, we got to decide on a spot to cut it. Well, do mm -hmm. we want to go aggressive or do we want to not go aggressive? Aggressive. Be, be aggressive. aggressive. Be aggressive. Okay. I'm tempted to go like a coil and a half, like back here. Yeah, Toilet paper tube? Mm-hmm. Well, would you say that is like 90 degrees of that spot right there? Yeah, go ahead. A coil and a half-ish because it flattens out, so it's not really a coil and a half. Now we just gotta probably cut it again to get it out of here. So that's a cool and a half out of there. This is one of my favorite things to do to a car. And I know not everybody likes lowered cars, but. I do. Most people do. My dad always lowered cars. I always love it because most of the time it's something you can do for free and actually see huge results. I think that hoops and stance, two most important things in a car. This way we avoided having to take the whole strut off the car and taking it all apart. Just a quicker way to do it, if you can do it safely. Might as well save yourself some time, huh? Absolutely. So now it's got a little less pressure on it, which is always nice, you know, have a little less pressure. We'll see how that affects our ride height. Of course, I totally messed up and didn't measure our ride height before, so I have no idea how much it's going for <laughs> We'll just go off how it looks. All right, let's get our new tie rod on here. Here you go, so this is a lock nut, so the blue part goes to the bottom. So it don't really have a cotter pin, does it? No, that's more convenient. We will have to line this thing up. 
set the tone and let her go. Exactly. Okay, that's pretty good. And while I do the other side, they're gonna work on their headlight bezels and what, wipers? Is that what you're doing? I'm yeah. doing wipers. Okay. We got a lot of little improvements we want to do with this thing. She actually already improved some things. She put new seat covers on and a little pop holder deal on the new steering wheel. So she's already done some improvements. I think this is right. Is your headlight adjusters okay and stuff? It's not moving enough, is it? No. Okay, I'm just gonna take all the wipers. Do I need to put the wiper on this first? I probably will, Those yeah. Are nice. Yeah, only the best for walls. Those instructions are the biggest instructions I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, it's, that's all in one pack? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Is that not the funniest little short? It looks like a 1930s car. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Another nice thing about cutting the coils is it makes it easier when you put it back together. You don't have as much spring pressure. Right, there we go. We can play horseshoes later. It'll be so fun. Okay. That snapped down, I think, Walt. Yeah. What do those do? I have no they idea. Look they look cute is what they do. <laughs> I think it looks good. This angle looks pretty good. At least that'll keep the rain off its forehead. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was a good time to change these. And yeah, those are <laughs> rusted out. It's a lot better. And what's that one gonna be? A chicken. Okay. That one needs an upgraded day. Yeah, it's shot, wasn't it? Both wiping off. Good job, babe. How good it looks. Awesome. I like it. So cute. Love it. There you go. So this Oops. should make a huge improvement. Sorry. <laughs> it should make a huge improvement <laughs> on how bad. it drives. It shouldn't have any more wobble wobble about it. The kids have been out of school all week. A snow week. I would say a snow day, but a snow week. And it's been below freezing here, which it feels like my toes are below freezing right now. Guaranteed. So this one was just spinning on us. There's no like Allen wrench hex or anything there. So what I did was put a pry bar here and put a bunch of downward pressure on it. And that forces that cone down into that knuckle here. And it holds the thread still until you can tighten it. You got one that's spinning. A lot of people want to go for like holding the threads or something. And you just mess them up. You put downward force on it with this or, you know, maybe you have vice grips or channel locks. You can push down that. It'll hold it for you. The more you know. I'm dying to see what it looks like. I know, right? How many times have we done this, Mark? A few. One time. It only goes one way. Do we need to put any lock tight on them or what? Uh, we'll just tighten them this time. Okay. I feel like, well, did we ruin it? Like, yeah, you got it. Ooh, that looks so good. Was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah, that's better. better. It's a lot better. It still doesn't look as low as the back. <laughs> even with that. Oh, good. Yeah, that looks... It's still sitting up slightly higher in the it front. It looks so much better. You can't put coil spring back on. If you want it lower, we can cut it more. Yeah. But we couldn't add back to it, so it's a good thing we didn't go too crazy. How's this look? It needs to be about there, don't it? Yeah. Yeah. We'll drive it because when it rolls down the road, you know, that'll change. It doesn't really look like the camera's off. We'll see. We'll drive it and see how it looks, but that definitely helped things. That might lower it two inches or something. It wasn't yeah. that crazy. Looking good. We're moving on to the back now. We got to change the oil and filter. We gotta adjust the valves as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll adjust the valves in a bunch of cars, but I don't think I ever have on a Beetle. Yeah, right there. That should be good. Nice car. Not cotton. Not cotton. <laughs> what? Hey, one out of four cotton wasn't bad, huh? Yeah. That'll save you. 
Those are so light. Yeah. So this is just going to give us better access to our valve covers, which is right there. Hey, we had two tight ones on this side. That's pretty good. Yeah. Twice as many as the other side. So we're looking through our books here, trying to figure out what the valve adjustment is. So it says 54 through 60 models is four thousandths. 61 to 65 models is eight thousandths on the intake, 12 on the exhaust. And all other models, which should be us, because this is a 71, six thousandths on the intake and exhaust side. We're gonna go with that. Sounds good to me. All right, let's get this thing on top dead center number one. Ooh. So I've marked our little dimple here, which is our top dead center mark. And it lines up with this crack right here. I'm gonna mark a spot straight across from it, which it looks like it's already been marked by somebody. There's like a little notch there. So we're gonna paint those two spots and that's gonna give us a reference point on how many degrees we've turned this thing. Because basically you adjust it here, you turn it 180 degrees, you adjust it again, turn it again, adjust it. Depending on which rotation, you're gonna adjust it one, four, three, two, or if you turn the engine backwards, you go one, two, three, four. We gotta figure out what cylinder we're on. This is either top dead center number one or we're 180 out. And then it it's pointing the opposite direction of our number one plug wire. So we're 180 out. To not have any confusion, I'm just gonna spin it around till we get back to number one here. Easy little engine to turn around with this. Yeah. Right there, we should be pointing at the number one cylinder. And we are. Okay, let's start from there. So this guy should just snap off of here. How funny, huh? It's crazy. They did it's make weird. them to work on easy, that's for sure. I mean, you don't even need a tool for this. There's no telling how long it's been since this has been adjusted. We actually got some new valve cover gaskets while we were at it. Oh, crap the seal. All right, there's your rock arms wall. And here's your crusty cork gasket. So this is your number one cylinder here. Let's hit this filler gauge in here and see if it's got six thousandths or not. Now we're doing this with the engine cold too. It's supposed to be completely cold. That will not even fit in there. It's tighter. I figured it would be loose, you know? Are you sure? Pretty sure. Yeah, both sides are tighter than what they're supposed to be. Well, let's loosen them up some. We're gonna back this 13 millimeter jam nut off here. Like that right there. Now we can get our feeler gauge in there. And we want it to like drag is all we want. Hold it still with the screwdriver, lock it down. If we still got a little bit of drag, yeah, we should be good right there. I'm trying to break this one loose. It's not wanting to go. There you go. How far you don't think? Maybe. Let's see. No, it's not far. I was just expecting it to be the opposite, you know? I figured it'd be loose from where, you know? You remember I used to have to do this on our Hondas, Tosh? Mm-hmm. We drove Honda Civics for years just to save gas. Not that we were into Hondas. Yeah, you used to have to adjust the rockers on them. And people would never adjust them. Like you buy a used Honda Civic and it would be clattering like crazy. And you adjust the valves. It was, I think it was nine thousandths because you could use a single side razor blade to adjust them. Made it quiet right up, run better. Let me just correct your statement. Marge was into the Hondas, okay? Oh, you were into Hondas? You might not have been into the Hondas. I like the Hondas. Well, I was never into the Hondas, I'll tell you that. We're cruising in the Hondas. <sighs> so I'm gonna turn this thing backwards to the next spot, which should be number two cylinder, so we can do this side and be done with it. Around here to where our mark is. So we're on the number two cylinder now, and it's actually loose. So you can see there, that moves way too easy. So we're going to tighten her up. That is so weird how it works. It's kind of almost like a, how a small engine is, you know? Yeah. Whatever, a lawnmower engine or something. So how much is it going to need? Right about there. Is that valve cover not built on? No, it just snaps on like... Like a master it, cylinder toss. Yeah, like a master cylinder toss. I was trying to think of what else does that. But yeah, a master cylinder top is a perfect example. <sighs> Now that I got this side done with cylinders one and two, I'm gonna clean off my gasket service a little bit, which actually looks really nice. A little word of caution here. These engines are magnesium, and we had a friend of ours who actually almost died working on one of these. He was grinding inside the bell housing flange, and the magnesium powder got everywhere, and then without even lighting a fire or anything, it ignited, and burnt him up on his face and hands and stuff and he almost died so be very careful grinding or anything like that on 
anything magnesium, it's flammable. I went ahead and upgraded her with some rubber valve cover gaskets. I'm hoping that will seal up better than cork. We'll see how this works out. So let's stick this back in here. I think this would be easier, but I believe ours has been an accident back here in this corner. Mm. There we go, right there. Pop this cover back on here, just like your master cylinder. What a funny way to do it, huh? Yeah, if that thing comes down, all your oil comes out. Come on, there you go. Let's do it on the other side and do the same thing. I'm gonna drain the oil, change the oil, and um, change the screen out, and all that jazz, whatever yeah. else is included. Yeah, well, Dad's doing this out with this one. Oh yeah. Now wall, hmm? when you get out on your own, you're gonna have to adjust these valves on your own. We'll worry about that one when it's, when I'm looking at dead in the face. <laughs> yeah. Will you clean this valve cover <laughs> while I'm working on this? You look over up? Yeah. It yeah. only holds like two and a half quarts of oil. It's like Hilarious. barely anything. Did you make a mess wall? <laughs> this cork gasket didn't come off as clean as the other one. Once again, I'm turning it counterclockwise and we should be on number three cylinder now, which is the front one on that side. Right there. So, she nicey. Yeah. All right, that's barely loose there. This one's really loose. There you go. All right, let's give it some tension here. Right about there. A lot of these seem like they're like a quarter of a turn too loose. Well, I got this side all adjusted. It should be good to put this back together. And I can sleep better at night now. You've been worried about this. Yeah, everybody was telling me, make sure you adjust the valves. And I finally did it, guys. So I'm going to take the filter screen out now. And that's like our oil filter. It's just like a screen in there. You can clean and reuse or put a new one in. I bought a new one because I had no idea what the condition of this one is. Did you drop it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We got gloves, girl. I do this every time. Every single time. You do tend to get really messy when you're working. <laughs> you crack yourself up? <laughs> yeah, it's cracking me up. I've got this all over me now. I believe it. I just keep touching <laughs> it. <laughs> it's really cracking me up here. ridiculous look it's like only it should be as complicated oh i just did that wow oh my where is it at did you drop another one i didn't mean to did you remember daddy saying don't drop it? oh no i can't find it we'll get it oh out there it is maybe with a magnet later or something you need to put gloves on yeah good time for a nap i want to put my valve cover back on now I'm done over here. Does this mean me and mom get to drive this on dates and such? Absolutely. No. Until you get no. your license? Nope. <laughs> nope. Japanese, here we come. <laughs> we gotta test it out and make sure it, you know, drives safely for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not that I drive like a complete maniac all the time. No, I don't really get driving. <laughs> you better not be driving like a maniac. I don't drive like a maniac. More like a psychopath. All right, hold on. Did you get the washers? What? Remember I said there's copper washers, don't lose them. Oh, well, they're all still on there. <laughs> okay. Where's your other one you found? It's right here. All right, get that. Luckily the gunk held them on there. There's one. So this whole thing comes off now. And this, our screen is underneath here, which is our filter. I don't know how many miles we put on this thing. Like I said, it did a lot more in the field than it did on the road <laughs> so far. <laughs> basically a four-wheeler around here right now. I think there's two gaskets here and a screen. I don't want to mess anything up. My CL350 Honda used to have, it had a cup, no screen at all, just a cup. And as it spun, the dirt clung to the outside of the cup. And that's what you cleaned out. That's crazy. Doesn't it look like a screen out of a kitchen sink? Yeah, it's <laughs> hilarious. Well, it's not full of a bunch of junk. I was worried it might be packed full of gunk. Here, grab that thing. We'll just throw a new one in it. I almost missed it. There's still a gasket on there. I thought I was looking at the block surface, but I wasn't. I thought it came off with it. That'd been a bad deal. Could be, yeah. 
stacking gaskets. So Ralphie's gonna see if we can find anything in this filter. Ew, look how dirty it is. Yeah, there's chunks. Brian, what are you doing? Yeah, it's all chunky. It's really thick. See it? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Definitely thicker than it should be. Look at that. Wow. We got a magnetic drain plug we're going to put in it to hopefully catch metal that goes through the system before it hurts any bearings. Nice. So here's our magnetic drain plug. Look at that. That ought to catch crazy. the boogers, huh? Surely. Some little boogers. We cleaned our block off under here. Oh. And we're going to put our new gasket on. So it's funny. It has two gaskets. This appears to be omnidirectional. I may have made that word up. Well, I've been waiting for this moment. I love maintenance. I don't know why, but I like change oil and stuff. Really? And uh, I've been like worried about you driving it. Since we never did replace the filter or clean it out or whatever. No I mean, Kev? Yeah. Always worried about the oil pressure poison. So we got brand new Felpro gaskets here and they actually came with the washers. So I'm gonna put brand new copper washers on it here. We're not gonna crank this thing down super duper tight, are we, Walk? No. Because okay. there goes your leg. And there goes your leg. That's the car. So we're gonna do this in a star pattern with a small ratchet so I don't crank it down too far. I'm sure there's a torque spec or something, but I don't know what it is. This will be fine. Well, I think we're all done down here. We can just put the oil in it. We're gonna fill it up now. We're gonna use the Rotella T6 5W40. That's what we run in everything around here. I always like the diesel oil, especially synthetic. You think we got enough in it? Maybe, maybe. A little bit low. It's in the operating range, but we might add just a little bit more. Okay. We add just a little bit, we are dead on now. I'd rather have too much than not enough, you know? Yeah. You could actually impale somebody with that thing. It's yeah. so thick. All the old cars, man, they didn't skimp on the metal. I guess while we're in here, while we might as well replace these. We got new ones, didn't we? Yeah. All right, why don't you get them and we'll replace them. Okay. We'll replace yours first just to make sure we have enough, okay? Yeah. It's like totally going. This looks like the old dryer vent hose, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> We've been there. What is that one? Yeah. No, it just sits on there, I guess. Both of them only have clamps on the top. I'm not sure about these VW things. Not to be confused with VW things. That goes there. Should be able to cut it right about there, Wa. Okay. Yeah. Cut her. Cut it. Wall was saying that this would smoke an F-150. You really think that? I don't think Wall's going to lie to me. Yeah, I think it will. We have to find that one day, huh? Yeah. I know everybody's saying in the comments that all your duct work and weather stripping around the engine is very important. Grab how to. Oh, I don't want to break it. You need to twist. Don't it breaks. Just pull it up. It ain't got a crank on it. That's weird. We need uh, trim just a little bit off of that. Let's see what you've been working on. Chicken. I love it. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. Those are so cute. Very cool. Thesleepity.com. Thesleepity.com. Yeah, don't be fooled by knockoffs. The only place you can get our merch is thesleeperdude.com. Apparently, a couple different people have took it upon themselves to sell our merch on their website and act like they're us. They actually charge more than we do, so you'll get a better deal and you'll get the real deal at thesleeperdude.com. We know we have some more seals and stuff to do around the engine. I think there's supposed to be a pan here that we actually do have. I believe we're going to do that at a later date. I'm really not worried about this thing overheating today. It's like super freezing. From what we've been told, the best thing to do is just drop the engine out. We have some body damage in here that we're probably going to straighten out too. So probably at a later date, we'll drop the engine out, maybe paint the engine, straighten up some of this metal work and replace all that. Well, I think that's it for back here right now. Who will win? What, are the other ones on or not? Yeah, we're the other ones. Where's the other ones? Where's the other ones? Right there, right there. 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 Right there.
Oh my. You had one job. There you go. Good job. Well, the next thing we're going to install, we've all been excited to do. Super killer hearse shifter here. I don't think it's even made anymore, right? That's beautiful. Look, reverse lockout. Got the wooden shifter ball, the whole deal. Wall went ahead and ripped off her shifter ball here. And it looks like we're going to have to pull the carpet up to get to it. Pulled our floor mats out already. Do that up there. That's pretty good. Oh, that's simple. These are the funniest little cars. All right, it looks like we need a 13 millimeter wall. Okay. You hear that? It mm -hmm. like, I don't know if that's gonna cure this or not. It makes like rattling noises, even when it's in gear. It's like something in there is hitting something else. Oh. Is that a 13, is that the right size or no? Yeah, it is. Let's just get the impact and zip her out of there. Oh my God. There we go, that's a little faster, huh? Yeah. This, this is like spring loaded. What's it doing? Okay. Oh. oh, we just dropped something. What was that? I don't know. So that's spring loaded from the factory, I guess. That was a washer. Oh, it was just my washer? Yeah. This is completely different. So it has all this mechanism with the reverse lockout stuff. So we probably need to put some grease on this. Why don't we get some grease real quick? It's gonna make it taller too. You see that? Yeah. That'll be good. Hard. It's probably three inches almost taller. We're gonna have to cut a hole, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Does this guy stay? What do you do? I don't know if you stay. You come. We have no instructions with this shifter. I wonder if that's like your reverse lockout with the factory one. We'll take it out. Ooh, wow. Stringy. Nice. Hey, how cold it is. Yeah, it is very cold out here. Pulling an all-nighter, is that what we're doing? No. <laughs> we're about to be wrapping her up. <laughs> yeah. Sun goes down, you're out of here? Yes. Tonight. Hey, I already can't feel two on my toes, so... Really? Yes. Yeah, no joke. I actually can't. That way. How else that way. Is this way, right? Yeah, because you, yeah, you pull up here. <laughs> you wouldn't pull it's it with fine. your pinky. I might. My pinky's not well, a jack. a strong one. Oh, I've got a strong pinky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, we need those bolts I threw in the floor. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Chuba my, my ancient knees can't do this. I thought it was going to be much harder to install than this. I love it already. Because I knew there had to be some sort of linkage system going in the back. I thought, oh, we'll have to get it under the car and make some magic happen. But it's just the two bolts from the top, it looks like. Really? That's what it looks like. <laughs> Feels like we're in the right spot. Where's the wrench? I don't want to crank down on this too hard. I like the, like, brassy look And to I it. think the yeah, wooden like grip is good for it, too. She's so snag. Look at it. Beautiful. Does it work, Wa? Ooh, butter. First, second, third, third fourth. Look how it's tighter it is. Look. Oh, that's so much better. What happened to fifth? There is no fifth. I <laughs> know. I'm just so joking. Nice. Oh, look. This shows your pattern right here, huh? Yeah. So this should be up. Oh, oh I'm already in love with this. We're gonna be driving this in town. <laughs> oh no, you are. She's gonna be at school. <laughs> Just don't tell me. Over the next year or so, she's gonna be like, wait, I thought my car had 50,000 miles. <laughs> <laughs> it's got sense. It's done rolled over 100. <laughs> here, come over here and try it, because you're used to driving that. I'm not as used to it. Oh, me? Well, that feels so much better. It's tighter, isn't it? It's a lot shorter. Oh, dang, that's so cool. Like, it doesn't take that's as much so cool. motion to get from gear to gear, does it? No. Before it was like ridiculous. That's good. I like it. Man. Should I try it out? That, that clanks. Yeah. So my car, go ahead. Well, can I try it out? Can, mm -hmm. can I try it out? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. It's a lot shorter, isn't it? It does take a lot less. Yeah. Well, that's going to help our ETs right there. <laughs> you, you have to underbite to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get that underbite. <laughs> yeah, that'll fit over there. But it comes with like a boot that goes over this. Does that snap? What is that? Just, there's nothing that holds it down. I guess so I think we gotta cut our carpet out around that. Yeah. That goes over the carpet. All right, where's the razor blade? So somewhere back in here, Wah. Well, it probably cost 13 cents for the carpet kit. <laughs> Some of the stuff really surprised me. I'm like, what? It's only like $3? A lot of stuff for these cars is really cheap compared to what I'm used to spending on parts. Because wow. I guess because they made a blue zillion of these, and there's a lot of people that fix up the old ones. So well, they made them for tons of years. Yeah. 
They made them for like, what was it, 70 years or something crazy? I don't yeah. know what it was. I'm excited about this thing right here. Yeah, it's going to make it a lot better. Thank you to the fan that sent that in the fan mail a while back. Like That's I tell cool. you guys over and over again, if you think we didn't use it or something, just wait a while. <laughs> we'll get to it. There you go, Wah. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Look at that. That's nice and shiny. I'm literally looking at it right now. Would you just look at it, though? It's beautiful. Well, beautiful. This is something Walls wanted to put in here. It doesn't come with any brackets, so I don't know. You think you just shove your dovey in there? You just shove it in here. Is this going to fit with my legs? I think we're good. That's all you do? You just do that? I got it. Well, that's kind of cool. That's beautiful. Would it fit with my size 12? I don't know. You don't matter. You ain't driving. Oh, it fits. Oh, wow. That's crazy. So you just put your stuff there, huh? Yeah. Well, that's pretty it's cool. Beautiful. This thing is just coming along nicely, isn't it? It is. It's, it's great. It's getting real. It's getting real nice. So now we have a big thing to do. We need to put a headliner in this. We have. It's been through some stuff. Holes where like mice and stuff have been in it. Cause when we got it, it was not infested with mice. The guy we got it from, it was a mess when he yeah. got it. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, oh, sorry about that. What is that mirror gonna do? <laughs> what are you doing? I was trying oh. to take that loose and it just snapped off. It's okay. There. Look at the mirror. It's so small. There you go. <laughs> it's hilarious. We have a brand new headliner and there's like the factory style and then there's like a. <laughs> easy install one and we bought the easy install one and uh i don't know how easy it's gonna be but we're about to find out so we have never even looked at the headliner oddly enough the whole interior of the car is black except for the headliner's white so we got a black headliner i'm worried i'm gonna cut through it Ooh. Ooh. Look this out. Oh, it's than I thought it would be. so it's a perforated black headliner that's why it's got the holes in it, just like yours does. Yeah. It's less pieces than the factory way they put them in. But you still have to pull your windshield back glass and clear glasses out. Why? Huh. Because it tucks behind all that. <gasps> Man, they folded her up, didn't they? I'm worried about... Is that metal inside of it? I don't know. I just zoomed on your face in the editing. <laughs> Man, they really kinkle dinkled that. That's scary. Is it supposed to be kinkle dinkled there? No. So there's pieces that go around like the door openings and then there's the big main headliner piece. I think this is up the door post here. Mm. Careful there. Sorry. That goes around the very back, I think, right there. I like right try around the awesome. back of this. Oh. Why is it so big? I'm not sure it's gonna like. Look at that. Oh wow. Well that's gonna match a whole lot better than what you got, huh? Oh yeah, for sure. So we need to iron them wrinkles out. Yeah, yeah, we might need to take it in the house and warm it up for a while, huh? Oh, that would yeah. make sense. So this should be your back glass, and this is like your pillars here, I believe, and that goes all the way up to your windshield. So that's crazy. It's already got the loopy doos in it for your bows, so we we'll have to reuse your bows. Oh, we're gonna have to get some black visors or paint them black or something. I can't believe that just snapped that easily. Must be wore out, huh? Probably, yeah. I noticed you're missing the grab handle, too, we don't have. Oh, that's weird. Look how wide that was. Yeah, this is called course. nicotine. What else called right there? Ooh, whoa. Oh, oh. Hey. Feel it, feel it. Mom would love it. Give it a squeeze, Mom. Ew! Oh, that's weird. It's so weird. That is the weirdest feeling, the way it crunches like that. Yeah, that's really weird. You don't think it's supposed to do that. Yeah. We may just have to look into getting new ones, huh? Probably. Yeah. Crunchy as those are. That is crazy to me how white that those are. That's yeah. like. That's weird. probably people smoking in the car. Probably. Cause like houses do that. The walls will be like yellow. You know, people smoke in the house. That's weird. Oh, I broke that one. Okay. Oh wow. They're super fragile, nice. fragile, aren't they? Just pops in there. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> okay, maybe I wasn't the first one to break it, huh? Do you think this is gonna be hard to do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Impeccably hard, probably, if I had to guess. It'll make a huge difference, because it's like, the rest of your interior is good. Like, your door panels look yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. What a funny design, huh? That is weird. Oh, this is already broke. The front edge is broke on it. Oh. oh, okay. 
<laughs> Sorry. Well, I wasn't the no. first one to break it. That's gonna have to buy you some more interior parts, sounds like. Uh, probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> uh, Should have been primed from the other end. <laughs> so red is on this prong over here, and the two brown ones go beside each other on the other end. Okay. I'll so interior light and grab handle visor. So I was out to look into all that. I'm gonna cut the majority of this headliner out just to get it out of our way. Hopefully, no rat's nest fall down on my head. <laughs> I would laugh. No oh, we're gonna make this thing messy. Look at oh, that. Oh no! Oh no! Whoa! Whoa! You, you might want to get out hold of on, here. Hold on! Hold on! Oh, what that is? I think it's like insulation and hmm. rat's nest. See, there's your bows, right there. How nice the paint looks under there. Look how white that was at one point. Uh, wow. Why is it so satisfying to cut this out of here like this? Okay, that's all the way around now. So it'd just be the bows holding that. Oh, that just tucks behind that beam. That's all it does. Usually they have like holes they go in, but I'm not seeing a hole. I think it just goes where it goes in there. Oh. Wow, that was a big chunk. I don't know what this is made of, so I'll put a mask on. Okay. Well, this is like a big sheet that's gonna fall on me. Well, we got a lot done today, but I think all of our interior stuff really needs to sit in the heat, and so do we. Uh, it's getting really cold out here. And we'll come back tomorrow and pull these windows out. That's kind of scary, huh? So, yeah, that's very scary. We'll start putting this headliner in. See you guys tomorrow. Shoo up. We don't know if he's more nervous when we're gone or less nervous. So he's, he's just always nervous. Right, Scooter? Oh, shake it out. Merchandise available at thesleeperdude.com. We got t-shirts, we got hoodies, we got hats, we got stickers. We got everything you need. You can also check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at sleeperdude88. Our second channel, Sleeper Dude 2, and our third channel, Sleeper Dude Armed. Good morning. We had everything heating up in the house all night. It's uh, still a little curvy swervy there, but we're hoping <laughs> that uh, we can work that out of it. Look how bad the weather strips are, though. They're really bad. They're super bad. So this is something this car has needed the whole time anyway. Look at this one. This one may be the wolfest. This is the wolfest one. Look at that. So, so it may not take much to get these glasses out of here. Absolutely impeccable. Because the headliner tucks behind this. I'm just gonna cut this right here on the inside. And hopefully we can just release this whole front lip off here and push it out. I don't know why this is scaring me. Don't be worried. I'm sure we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, that's coming loose nicely there. It was really cheap for these weather strips and stuff like that. I think I only gave like a hundred dollars or something for the all four weather strips, which is crazy. I think they call it California style weather strips because these do not have the chrome strip in them. Because mm -hmm. a chrome strip like double the price, you know? Mm -hmm. It would definitely be a lot easier if you didn't have to do it this way, but I mean, we need the seals anyway. I wouldn't want to take it out if I had a car that had good seals though. Right. New cars, everything urethane's in, so it glues in. These just lip in here. So you just take like a wire or a string and Lip them in here. We'll show you how later. Is that uh, okay? Yeah, right there. Oh. Probably years of wax and paint and everything holding that in there. Just don't flex it too much. There you go. You got okay. it? Are you sure you got it? I think the quarter glasses are identical side to side. They're completely flat sheet glass. Has it been repainted? We're not seeing a big tape line. Are you? No. I just see dirt. So we need to clean this wax and stuff off here, Wall. Okay. While we have it out. 
Oh, that's that when they painted there. Is that the headliner? Yeah. Yeah, that's the headliner. That's, that's what crazy. We're take off. That's so weird. I know. You'd think it would affect the seal of the window. Yeah. You know? Yeah, keep an eye on it there, guys. <laughs> Don't want to miss nothing. I remember I had a 63 Nova was my first car. My first car, I mean, first car that I worked on and never drove <laughs> because I never got it finished in time for high school. I bought a brand new windshield for it when I was in high school. And after we got the car painted, I went to put the windshield in and the corner got chipped. Mm. And we had had this windshield for like four or five years because it took so long. And I got to put it in and we're pushing and pulling the thing. Windshield goes... And it was uh, done for. So all, all I ever got in it was a cracked windshield. That's How is that hilarious? <laughs> uh, it was a bummer, yeah. I wish I wouldn't have went so far with it. It was supposed to be like my high school car. I started on it when I was like 13. I was doing a full restoration on it. And by the time that I got it like painted, the high school was already over. So I wish I'd have left it the way it was and just to fix the mechanical stuff and drove it. That would have been so much cooler. Then I could have wrecked it. <laughs> Instead of my dad's car. <laughs> Man, it's hard. Ooh, it's just brakes. I wonder if it's ever had these replaced. It don't look like it does. It? No. If it was, it was forever ago. I can see the outside. Yeah. Naturally, I thought that was too and considering the seals are so bad, you think it come out of here? It's not good. I think it's just glued too. Just press it in there. Yeah, she feel like a lot Yeah, you don't want to push on the glass too hard, you know? Yeah. Man, it's so stuck. Oh, wait. Oh, no. You're scaring oh, no. me. Wow. <laughs> Super stuck, wasn't it? Yeah. It's the roughest one. I think they may have used some glue on that. Yeah, look. Is that glue or is that? Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Dirt daubers in there. What do people call them in the other parts of the country? Mud daubers? Or... Yeah, mud daubers. Mud wash. Mud wash, yeah, that was one of one. Sounds a little more legit than dirt daubers. What about waspers? We got some waspers around here. Yeah, we need to clean that up before we put the new one in. Can we take a moment and appreciate this hey, winter apparel right here? It's cold. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's crust on the inside. I guess it got more sun than the other ones. Oh, yeah, but it did. Mom learned how to drive a manual transmission in one of these, didn't That's you? right. My best friend Misty had one in high school. Same color, wasn't it? Same color. Yeah. We tore the streets up. I <laughs> tore the streets up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we went everywhere that little bug. Killed it a few times and off we went. <laughs> Look. You gotta open your mouth up. She's gonna lick the glass. She looks like a glass licker, doesn't she? Yeah, she's a glass licker from way back. Okay. See how stuck this one is. You got it, guys? Yeah. The bottom's sticking in there. Yeah. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> Okay. Pull it. Pull that. Yeah. You got it, Walt? You got it? It's not that heavy. I don't see her I'm just trying to get older. She gets nervous. Got it going on this morning, Squeeze. Yep. This is the one I'm a little more scared of. This is laminate glass and not tempered. So tempered glass is stronger and it just shatters when you break it. This is more fragile and it cracks. We've got to be more careful with this guy. It always cracks me up in movies when they do something with the windshield that shatters like tempered glass. That is not accurate at all. And I noticed it, okay? I noticed. I get it. 
That dash is comical. It is comical. That thing is like two inches. Inches? Two inches wide there. Well, the Super Beetle has a thicker dash than that. This is like a in between year. It's a Super Beetle suspension, but with a standard Beetle windshield. Oh no. I don't like this. Oh no. Okay. You're really freaked out. Okay, maybe we can just lift it up out of the seal now. Yeah. There you go. Got it? You carry it. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? I can't reach you. Yeah. You saw it. All right, y'all got it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not seeing the obvious paint line at all. I don't she all original. I would seriously doubt that it's all original. I think it may have had some paint work on the ends. But I think this part is original paint. So I'm gonna clean out some detailing spray. Go to sleepertin.com, use code SLEEPERDUDE, get 5% off on your order. I don't think that glue is going to come off, but you definitely need to clean all the dirt out of your cracker. Yeah. On the daily. So now I can rip off the edge of this here that we couldn't get before because of the glass that was in there. So it looks like the headliner goes on after these side pieces do because it's overlapping them. What's holding it in? It looks like it's pinched in there with these grippers here. I reckon. It looks like we're going to have to give them oh, a little weird yeah it is isn't it it's also weird as the amount of detailing spray just went in my eyes <laughs> can i pull it out without bending it and look that's just the end of it there's no wire in there or nothing so i guess we got to peel this back a little bit and then yeah. pinch it down flat when we get done yeah. i guess you just gotta cut it to the exact length like they just folded it over itself shoved it up in there and hammered it i guess it's funny how different old car interiors are to new car interiors, you know? If you did newer car interior stuff, the old is completely different. You know, the wiring harness and insulation's that way in the back. There's a bunch of metal tabs that you bend mm. down. Like, you only got so many of those bins in that thing. Yeah, no doubt. It's weird. I wish they would just screw it in or something. We should be able to reuse these. Can you take them off? Yeah, that's what holds it on. Oh, okay. Well, this is a big one. It goes all the way across. See, we tell all this down. Oh, what? I see. What, does he go back up there? Yeah, we'll hammer it back on. You better be careful, man. Well, oh, thank you. There you go. Okay. And this guy here. And I have no idea what that's for. What'd you do with the other one, Marge? I had it right here in my hand. I was showing them up close. Oh, good. Got the shot. <laughs> this should just come right off now. I kind of like the blue in here, personally. I was thinking the same thing. I still have no idea why this thing had white headliner with black interior. Unless they replaced everything else and it's just, I never did this, you know? That one's dirty, wasn't it? That's pretty bad. I'm kind of surprised that it hadn't like leaked a bunch of water. Yeah. Considering how bad the seals were. I've never had water fall in this car, which is surprising. That's the same kind of material. I don't know what the holes are for. Look, that's like a plastic. Bolt, huh? That is weird. Huh? What's up with that? We gotta remember where all these go. Oh, okay. Fine. We won't be able to see them because the hole won't be visible. We gotta pull these out as well. We had one of these off, didn't we? I think we I took don't the other know if side. I can remember where all these things go. We'll figure it out. This probably has clips that hold it in. Oh. This overlaps this, so this went on after this. This went on before the headliner and before this. And this is also on top of Do this, piece. this piece. Yeah. We have all of those pieces. Yes. That's crazy. I don't know what that was. I'm just glad you have good door panels and quarter trim panels. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a nice touch. All these little guys are just completely shot. They're just gonna bust when we take this off. See, this is the extra piece, I think, that they're saying ours is an easy install because it doesn't have an extra piece. So it's just glued to metal. 
You could really just like repaint that and leave it, you know? I think it's got a gripper too. I think you're gonna roll it back that way. And then we can ungrip it. Oh, See in there? They need to be peeled open. Get under there, I think, and pry that back. We're gonna pull the back seat out because it bolts in these trim panels here. Surprising this car holds five people or 17 clowns. <laughs> All right, here you go. Ready? Take it out of your way. There you go, Wah. This is the part that gets me nervous. Don't be nervous. It's a car. My car. <laughs> This has like a cardboard edge that pokes down in there. I don't know if ours has that or not. Wow. Those guys are roached. Oh. Ha ha ha, snap, that hurt, that hurt real bad. Put that under the corner and try, try to pry it out. Don't be scared, Grab Hold it, yank that thing out of there. I'm telling you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait. She's just dropping them down in there. Gonna fill it up. <laughs> I didn't mean to. It just like it fell in there. I was trying to get it out. Just get out. Why do you have to get it It looks like it tucks in underneath this brace here. I'm gonna pull that out. It's a 10 millimeter bolts on both sides. Oh, I guess the battery cable runs inside of it. All these metal tires you bend over, and it should be everything that holds this wall, except for this lip right here. It's crazy, the headliner goes all the way down to the floor. I know. So there's nothing keeping the battery from going forward, other than a piece of cardboard. That's the only thing that keeps that battery from going in the floorboard. That's so weird. Squeeze, it looks so good, I love it. I gotta add like a moon, I'm pretty sure, and then like some purple trees in the background. Okay. Really shady. Is it a happy little tree, don't it? Yes. Happy little tree. Very much happy little trees. She's oh, so got all kinds going on right here. I think I figured this thing out here. It's just really tight in there. Would you say this has been the hardest thing to undo? Yeah, this is definitely the tightest thing here. That's crazy, that. You bend the car around it. Yeah, we're just gonna have to do this all the way up and down. I think we have one side ready to pull out of here. Look at that. I mean, just get a look at that. All right, one more side and we'll be done. We're getting better at this. Okay, practice makes perfect, what I was told. Let it come out, Ralph. Give it a tug tug. There you go. Is the whole headliner out, finally? It is. That is a lot of headliner. It's such a little car, isn't it? And it's hilarious. All right. Um, I guess let's. These go in first, right? Isn't that what we figured out? Yeah. I'll, yeah. Those Probably. Go in first. They do. We're going to lay this out on the roof upside down. So we've got to transfer over our roof bows to do this it wall. It looks like it has hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gray hair. Uh -huh. Bangs. Nice touch. That's the front. Hold that. So we just feed it right through its little tunnels here that are pre-made for us. Just like putting up a tent, honey. Hmm. You've been there. Yep. This is when we figured out that all the glue we have doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Even though it's a brand new can that's never been used. So we're gonna have to go get some glue and we're about to run out of propane to heat this place. So we're gonna get this and we'll be back. It's a winter wonderland out here. Look at all that snow. We ain't used to that. No, we ain't used we're to this at all. We're uh, not set up for snow here. No, yeah. our power went out. Look at that. That's incredible. What in the world? How many mowers do you think they're selling today? <laughs> zero. <laughs> There's <laughs> zero turns. Can we get a, a discount on one? <laughs> hey, hey, look at right there. <laughs> I know, I saw them. 800 bucks? That seems expensive. Wow. All right, I think we'll go with this wall. Oh, yeah? It doesn't say anything about temperature. 
We're gonna get as warm as we can. We should be set now to get this thing glued in today. Exciting. He's a good boy. You like the snow? Rocky. You like the snow? You not like it. Well, let's see if we can figure this out, Wall. It's gotta be this way, right? Isn't that how the other one was? Yeah. That stuck out this way, right? You may have to stick it. Yeah, stick it up there. I'm gonna hold it. Yeah, hold that right there. We got maple with us around here somewhere. Here you go. I was gonna tell you with a saucer. Come here, Maple. I'm here smacking lips from three miles away. She's checking out the ranches. She's been sheltering in place in the other shop. Yeah. We brought her, her in. Or her heat lamp. Yeah. What's stopping me here, Wall? Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. That's our kinkle dinkle where they folded it up on us. We've got a heater going inside the car to keep it warm. Probably. Just not to daddy. Yeah, just not to daddy. Just gotta make sure it's all bottomed out. Hey. Hi. Look at you. Look at you. Hi. So that's all folded in now. And this is gonna wrap around here. This is gonna glue around that. Like that right there. It's better to have extra than not enough, bud. We'll cut it after we glue it. It looks so good. Look at it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Ralph, hold that right there. We don't want to get glue on our paint job here. So how much do we need to spray? It comes up pretty far, doesn't it? Yeah. All the way up to there. So we're going to spray both sides of this because we want it to stick really good. With this stuff, you spray it on there and you let it tack up. So if it's still wet to the touch, you do not touch it together. We turned off all of our heaters and such because the fumes from this are very flammable. It seems to be tacked up now. I'm gonna start from this edge and try to work my way in. See how it holds it there when you push down on it? So we're gonna cut back what we don't need here. Trim it back like maybe a half inch from the edge or something. Make some cuts right here too so we can fold it over. What are y'all two doing? Mischievous. Stuff. How was it? Hmm? I'll put some glue right here so this will hold it. Good piggy. Thank you. <laughs> I was trying to see if she's going to bite him or not. Hilarious. <laughs> I'll be Whoa, she's fast. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, Where's she going? Oh, hey. Whoa. <laughs> <She went up. laughs> Where'd she come oh, from? She she's making oh, laps. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> 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 she hits deck. <laughs> Every now and then she falls off. You're so <laughs> funny. So I had to make some relief cuts because it just wouldn't take that curve there. I may have to do it a little differently on the other side, but I think we got this side in there. It all seems to be stuck down good. I'm gonna lip this over now. Should have just enough material to lip over this without it showing with the glasses in. Contact cement is some incredible stuff. You just gotta have it where you want it before you put it down because it doesn't move after that. Okay. Well, I think we're good there. Let's go to the other side. We're trying to heat up all these pieces before we install them, just to try to get them pliable, you know? Yeah. Get in there. I wonder what glue they use from the factory. That stuff you can't get no more, probably. Yeah. It probably worked way better than what we have today, and you probably can't get it anymore, if I was guessing. I think we're ready to glue, don't you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. Let's glue it. Sorry. It was an accident. Here, hold it. I'm 
Why aren't right. you holding it? Gosh, it's just an accident. No. Gosh, you saw it. It was an accident, wasn't it? 100% accident. Not weird. All right, that's it right there. We got it. You sprayed it twice. What? You sprayed my finger. I put, okay. Yeah, I put two coats on it. Wow. Her seats are pretty nice. They are pretty nice for an older car, huh? Yeah. Make sure I don't mess this up, okay? Here we go. I'm watching. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get it in these corners before I press down around it. it. Seems to help things. If you stick it up here, it kind of stops you from getting in this curve right here. But the good thing about all this is the trim panel helps hold it in. The seat helps hold it in. The headliner, the windows, like everything helps hold this in. Guys, use a new razor blade. I know who you are using them old razor blades you cut your toenails with last year. Mm. Get you a new razor blade. It makes life a lot easier. I'm excited to see how this is going to look. Especially with the roof rack on, huh? I can't wait yeah. for the roof oh, rack. I know. The only reason I didn't do it yet is because I knew we were going to have to lay this headliner out. Well, that side's looking good right now. It does not want to go back in these corners, does it? Heat definitely helps with stuff like this. Trying to get the stretch in these corners. Trying to make it look as good as I can. It would definitely look better, I think, if we had all the factory insulation behind this. That's something we might should have done. It would take some lumpiness out of it, I believe, but it'd be fine. Good enough for who it's for. And what they're paying. Exactly. That's a good pig. That's a big piggy. I think we're going to do the headliner next. I know that these go in after the headliner, but since the back is made totally different than our old one, I really don't have a reference point. So I think we're going to do these three pieces last. Okay. Let's uh, feed this thing in there somehow. So, ready? Yeah. So we need to kind of get it where it's going to be. I know like my old Nova that I had. It had a you know headliner with bows, and it had holes. Like where they were supposed to go. But these just seem to go where we want them. Is that far enough forward to lip over? Sure, yeah. You probably should go for it. I think I got more than you here. Right, I'm gonna wrap up there. Ralph, right, your yeah. bow is already in on your side. Yeah. Okay. So this bow will go like here. Here, your second one's not in, Ralph. Is it out the end of the fabric or no? No. Here, push. There you go. Okay, put that up above that. All back two are in. So is the third. Third one's in. And the fourth. I'm Henry the Eighth. I am Henry the Eighth. I am. So is it glued? Uh, the edges glue. The the metal just held in with these bows. We gotta get the wrinkle dinkles out of this. Right, look at the front, look at the back, and tell me the difference. Is it pretty even? Yeah. Okay. Trying to get all the wrinkles out of it. It needs to be pulled forward or something like that, yeah. It was wrinkled up in that box, which we left this in the house all night trying to keep it warm. Let's see how we have barely any here, and we got a bunch hanging over that way. So we gotta move it over this way. It's just crooked, actually. The front is not too bad. Back is where it's all. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. I think we're pretty even everywhere now. Look pretty even to you back there, Ralphie? Yeah, it looks pretty from here. Well, I guess we can start gluing. So I've went around and taped all the openings just to make sure we don't overspray this glue on the paint everywhere. We tried to let it warm up as much as we could in here. We let the heater go in the car for a while. I think we're just gonna start at the front and work our way back and try not to get any wrinkles, you know? Yeah. Try to pull the wrinkles out as we go. Maybe. This seems like something you don't need to get your hands on, Tosh. <laughs> you everything. Yeah, I glue it all. Oh, 
Mm -hmm. She doesn't go over quick with me. She doesn't go over with me, she goes towards me. Look, let's see what she does. It's been a few days. Look, she smells me, smells me. Oh, yep. She still hates me. Oh, oh. You better you it's gonna be funny. Wow, why does she hate it's me? It's gonna be funny when she's big in the field. Oh, it ain't gonna, gonna be funny. She's gonna be bacon. <laughs> she ain't gonna be no bacon. No wrinkles, Wall member. No wrinkles. I ain't the one who's doing this. I'm needing you to think about no wrinkles. Okay? No wrinkles, no wrinkles. It's gonna help me. You got this. I don't think we're gonna have trouble finding our holes. We can see through it just barely. Yeah. So if we can get that front clip on there, it'll really hold it tight when we pull towards the back. We can actually see what we need to cut here, huh? Yeah, you got it's this. It's a funny material. It is weird, isn't it? Hey, Dad. Ha, ha, ha. You said it was a funny material. <laughs> Such a dingus. Really helps in these compound curves with the heat. Woo, that actually looks pretty good, Dad. Thanks. I'm so proud. So proud. You're gonna look so cool. It's gonna be when Daddy's driving you around. No, not when Dad. When I, when I <laughs> driving myself around. <laughs> uh, Wrap it over there. Start from the edge and work your way over. She whacked my head away. I think you blinked every time I hit it. That ain't going nowhere yeah, now. Yeah, probably. No. She's leaning on that hoop. Look that. Now what I'm doing is getting in the corner of these bows and bringing them back as far as they can go. Try to get all this wrinkle dinkles out of here. Let's start this side, oh, I guess. No. Sorry. <laughs> and this is the part that's slowing us down, waiting on this glue. It's just like you spray it on there, you gotta wait a few minutes, especially in this weather. So it's slowing us down a little bit. It just scares me to death that we're gonna have wrinkles everywhere I get into a curve like this. I'm gonna have to work on this edge because it gets like folded up under itself. It actually stops way back here, actually. So I'm gonna have to trim that back. I'm trying to fold the extra back over this seam that's already in it to kind of hide it so I have an obvious wrinkle. It's looking cool, huh? Yeah. This one doesn't do the same thing. It like folds over itself and then tucks in there and gets hammered up there. We gotta leave about twice as much as we left on the other stuff. If I can just figure out how to get my enormous scissors up in here. This seems impossible currently. <laughs> you got the biggest pair of scissors ever. Uh, maybe something like that, like an inch or so. I leave just enough here to fold it back over itself as well. Okay. So if we do this, that's how the factory one looked. I should be able to fold that in there. That right there. <laughs> What's the pig talking about? Piggy. And we should be able to tap this. That's pretty good, huh? Yeah. Every time I make a noise, that pig does something. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll have enough glue. I bought two cans. We're halfway there. Yeah, that's true. There's a song about that. Mm, I don't know that one. Oh. I knew it. I knew you'd chime in. <laughs> Mom, Joey. All I'm going to say is there ain't no eagles stacking her up. <laughs> Think she's too heavy for the eagles? Yeah. Too mean, too. I'm getting fast. Look at this. You better slow I'm down. Just ripping it. Whoa, you better slow your roll. No, Shrider. I think I watched, I watched Night Rider, didn't I? Yeah, it wasn't Ghost Rider. <laughs> Ghost Rider's Nicholas Cage. I've never even seen it. <laughs> Did you watch Knight Rider? Some, yes. Oh, that was a good we one. We didn't have a TV growing up, remember? Oh. So. Hey, Dad, get your fingers over here. Let me see your finger. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Let me see your uh, finger. Are you going to be sweet now? Hey. Look, can I touch your hog jaws? <laughs> she got some hog jaws. This one. Piggy. She, she might be think, nice for once. She might have thought it was me. <laughs> she must have thought it was you. Hell, tough. <laughs> well, let me just tell you, 
ain't nobody better get them booger hooks on this headline. Ain't nobody better touch it. Booger Call hands hooks. with somebody. I'm looking at him over there. <laughs> Look at the man in the hoodie and the overalls. See where that line is where the old headliner was? Yeah. They cut it right across the Yeah, there. what fish is that? It's huh? a large mouth bass, son. <laughs> I catch him every day. Uh, yeah. We're going to go like at a 45 degree angle here. Give them the teeth, Ralph. Just teeth. There you go. So I got to fold the edge over itself and then kind of come right down through there. That's how it was before. I'm just going to glue this whole back section at the same time because I'm afraid if I don't, I'm not going to get to the spots I need to glue it afterwards. Usually with contact cement, it's not a huge deal if it takes you a while to get to it. The big problem is if you get to it too quick. You guys hold it, but don't let it touch, okay? Okay. I'm going to do it right here. They give you a lot of extra material on this, huh? Looks like it. That's good. Yeah. Once again, I'm making some relief cuts around these corners. Lipping it over here to hold it. He's a good dog, huh? Found the best. Come here. That wind is picking up. Yeah. Whip it. It's darker in the car now, isn't it? Yeah, it's like... The sun was out before. Okay, that's held in good. This is quite a bit of work. Yeah, it's a job. <laughs> For sure. It seems so weird that the fabric goes inside the seal of the window. <laughs> That's the last of the big piece here we gotta put in. Now we gotta put our back piece in and our little short side pieces, which at least they're easier to manage. We got quite a bit of excess here. It looks like we should be able to cut this off about here and still be okay. Like that. I'm gonna leave it where I can cover things up down here, you know. Now I know I need to fold these edges over each other so we have a nice edge right here instead of like a rough edge. Now peas don't eat glue. We're just gonna fold the edge over here. She's like, what? It's like any noise and she responds back with some sort of answer. <laughs> Rooting through. That's all. Let's try to hit this right here. Come up there. Yeah. She's answering as well. Get right in there. What about your door panel? It's going to hold this in. It snaps over it. So this, I guess, it goes up underneath our carpet here. It also appears to be glued down. Everything's just a totally different shape than what I'm used to, you know? Because you're used to square and this is round? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, everything I got is square. That's true. I didn't know that. Stuff like that's going to help hold everything in. These bigger holes, you cut an X where they were. Okay. Sorry, go that was brittle. Go we'll get a new black one for you. How about that? Okay, okay. Yeah. same deal. Right, good. right there. Good. You know how much we need to hang over there? That's not wide enough. You see that? It's not wide enough to overlap our oh. roof. Why would that not have enough material? That's weird. We're like a couple inches on each side short. Do we have extra material? Well, yeah, we can stick something there, but it won't look as good. Why is there not enough material with our headliner kit? Finally gonna take your little nap. It wasn't long enough to meet up here, but we had all that extra in here, you know? I think we're gonna take some cut pieces and fill in here, but we really shouldn't have had to do this. Try and patch it together with what we have, huh? Yeah, that's okay. Well, we got all that done. I'm not super happy with the way it turned out in the back corners. It looks 10 times better than it did. We're gonna work on putting the glass in now. Doesn't look like it's gonna be that hard to get the old one off, does it? No. 
We need to clean these wall here. Get a razor blade and clean all that, that dirt off there on both sides. You know, see, this had like a plastic chrome strip that we didn't want to deal with, so. This has a defrost back glass, which from what I'm told, usually never works, ever. I think this is gonna be a big improvement here. Oh, absolutely. Like having the new seals. That was one of the biggest issues I had with this car was I was like, man, needs all those seals replaced, which seemed like a big deal to me, but hopefully this won't be too big of a deal. I think my grandpa had two different Volkswagen Beetles, if I remember right. He used to drive back and forth to work. He had a long commute. I think he had one of the auto stick ones or whatever, where it has no clutch pedal, but you still have to shift it. Look at all that. Looks like they've glued it or something trying to seal it up, doesn't it? Yep. So that's the bottom of the glass. So that's where our part line needs to be. Where did it go? See, hands, maybe you should slow down. Where in there is. Okay. This lip right here, which is, goes to the outside, we'll start right here, okay? Is that about the middle, you think? Sure. I think it goes your way a little bit. We just wiggle it and push it on there. Huh. That's weird. And the farther we go, the harder it's going to be. Here, we should probably set the direction it goes, though. Probably. Makes more sense. That is tight. I guess I should have stretched it more as I was putting it on, huh? Golly, that's a booger. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's not fun to put on there at all. Okay. I think it's finally on there, guys. Oh, that kicked my butt. We might should have sprayed it with something. I don't know if that would have helped or not. Okay, well, let's pop in the car. Hopefully. What are you Please, doing? What are you doing? Nothing. Going through my tools. Rummaging. Why do we need the wire? It's gonna make this lip go over the flange in the car. Oh. We're gonna pull the wire out. The wire don't stay in there. It just helps us get the oh, lip over the edge. That makes sense. So we got some lubricant here. This is actually the stuff I used to mount casings with. I'm gonna pull the wire from the inside and y'all can push from the outside, okay? Okay. So this should go like this right here. Especially where I'm trying to go. I need y'all to push there for sure, but here, squeeze. Put your hand up here and push. See it lipping it in there? Yeah, keep pushing like that. Move we'll all the way around it. So this is just an electrical wire is what I'm using. Okay, keep some pressure down, squeeze, so it doesn't move. Okay. Keep pushing. It looks like it needs more pressure up here. It's kind of hard to see it all black, huh? Yeah. It looks like the top needs to come down, like the whole glass needs to be pushed downward a little bit. Push right there hard, Ralph. There you go. Should be in there. Oh, looks good. You see it went in a little bit yeah. when we got. See, there's a lip under there. It's gonna come out and cover that. Cover all that ugly. No, it even covers that rust right there. Good deal. Here you go. Give it a little slider. Oh, it should be in there. We got this on the rotisserie. I think these quarter glasses are going to make the biggest difference. They're in rough shape. The other side's even worse than this side. And you can't tell me that's sealing it up, you know? Right. It's glued there, isn't it? Look at that. All that just breaks when you move it. It's like them, them glow sticks. <laughs> Here, Walt, well, take it off. Give it a tug. Yeah. Same deal, different glass. Did you find the heater? I'm <laughs> rooting in it to make you a bed. This one's a little easier than that back glass was. Back glass, we just about didn't get her stretched around there. 
That's a good shot, pig. You gotta kind of like pry it open while you're doing this. Give it the wiggles. Probably some trick, I don't know, huh? Probably. <laughs> Finally, that's on there. Look how much nicer that looks. It does look good. Got the wire in, got the lubrication ready. All right, you got it? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go inside. You feel like? Yeah. Okay. Keep going. Okay, push hard, Ralph. On the rubber, keep following me. Almost there. Keep pushing. Feel like it's in there? Yeah. yeah. That covers a multitude of sins, doesn't it? <laughs> That's like those light switch covers or outlet covers mm -hmm. that are bigger than normal to cover up like a really messed up outlet. Yeah. There, there you go. I like that sticker right there. Oh, it's impeccable. You can get those at thesleeperdude.com. Free shipping, even on international ones. <clears throat> and that one is crunch. Yeah. I mean, it is a terrible shape. Really Gross. That's the word. We're getting faster at this. About yeah. time. If we just had a whole fleet of them, we'd get just down pat, <laughs> wouldn't we? Let's throw a wire in here. We'll be ready to slap this one in the table. My fingers are suffering today. <laughs> That'll be sore. You um, won't be able to pick your boogers for days. I know. Helen just follows everywhere. She does. You should see her follow Tosh around the house all day. It's <laughs> comical. Every she step just, I take. <laughs> if she goes to the kitchen, she goes to the kitchen and stares at her. <laughs> Got it, Mars? Isn't it funny that's all that holds these glasses in? It's crazy. <laughs> Feel that, didn't you? Yeah. I wouldn't want to do this by myself. I don't think you could. Oh, somebody does it. Coming your way, Ralph, right in the corner. Push, push, push. There you go. All right, give me the pat there. Look at all that junk from Ew. the old molding. There you go. Gone. Now for the scary one, the front windshield. It's kind of impressive. This is an original Volkswagen windshield. So it has a VW badge on it. So if it has ever been replaced, it at least got replaced with an OEM one. What's so. OEM? Original? Original equipment manufacturer. Man, I was getting it. Well, you asked me. But then I was like, oh, I can do this in my head. Uh, almost there. Are you a pro at this, Dad? I'm not a pro at this, no. Cross your fingers and say your prayers. See if we can get this thing on here without breaking it. Are you feeling confident, Wa? Yeah, a little bit. It's good. It's I'm good. not feeling that confident, but I think this one will work. So we gotta be a little bit more gentler with this one? Yeah. Like you can still put pressure on it. We need you to put pressure on it. But don't twist it. I'm gonna come uh, your way, Wa. I'll try to help hold it. You see it pull in. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. What a deal. All right, we're going to put the lip in here in the front. This should definitely help with leaks and wind noise and all that stuff. Yeah. Because I'm always worried about it leaking because the seals were so bad, you know? They're terrible. <laughs> we don't like to leave it outside in any way. You know, if she's going to be driving it, it's probably going to be outside a little more. I'm excited about it. Yeah? Yeah. I'm excited for you. Because I never got to drive my own car to school. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, that's gonna help the looks of this thing a bunch, those new weather strips. It's not that expensive, guys. If you got one, if you don't know already, those weather strips are not expensive at all, considering what you're getting, you know? Definitely worth doing, for sure. Yeah, for sure. It looks a lot better. And hey, we made it through it. <laughs> we survived. What do you think about your roof there? I love it. It, it matches good. your seats and your door panels and stuff. It matches everything, it looks great. We still gotta put your back seat and your quarter trim panels in, but. It looks really good. I'm actually really surprised how it turned out. Yeah? I think it looks real good. <laughs> it's not perfect, but... Good enough for who it's for and what they're paying. Exactly. 
We gotta get that roof rack on, don't we? Really excited about that one. How'd this go on? Just kind of clipped in there. Like that right there. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Yeah. I think we'll get new sun visors in these clips because yeah. these are goners. We need the grab bad. handles. There was something else. Well, there was a little lot thing yeah. right here that went here, but yeah, the yeah. light lens was broke. It's yeah. probably like two dollars or something probably. for this car. Man, I'm gonna be looking swaggy in this. Swa thing. What is Look swaggy? Is that a word? You know what she's talking about. <laughs> I love the shifter. Oh, I do too. We got it. I've been wanting to put that thing in there for a long time now. I don't know. Well, that's going to be it for today. It is getting late and it's getting super cold out here. I think I want to set a heater in here and let it keep the inside warm for this all this glue to set up and dry good. But we will see you guys tomorrow and finish this thing off and take it for a drive. All right, so next day, we're going to put our back seat in our quarter trim panels. Roof rack. Yes. We're going to put the roof rack on. You two especially have been waiting on that <laughs> the whole yeah. time. All right, let's get to it. I'm going to go ahead and cut out where these clip holes are. In the quarter panel so we can snap these guys back in there it's got some real deal metal clips yeah it looks like it do you think the roads have cleared up enough to drive on them surely they have it'd be fun we've had snow on the ground and the roads for what over a week now yeah Eight it's days. crazy for us it's ridiculous. never happens here kids that got out of school all week and one day this week so far it's yeah we've crazy. been together a bunch this week all right buttercup Goes in there solid, don't That's it? Crazy. Yeah. This way, I like to see something solid that screws in. That way, I know that's not gonna pop back out. Well, we need to get the scotch brite on that. Have you cleaned that before with scotch brite? Uh -oh. Get one. See if that'll clean up. Okay. Yeah, it's coming off. Surprisingly. Oh yeah. It's a lot better. Surprised those clips are still working good. Probably because they're metal, huh? Right. Not yeah. plastic junk. Back when they made real cars. At least the rest of your interior is in really good shape, considering, yeah. you know, the age. There's a bolt hole at the bottom, Walk. Over here? Oh, See right here? Yeah. Oh, we should talk about that. Need to go my way a little bit. Pick it up. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Right See if you can get yours in. Where? <laughs> the bottom. Right okay. there, that one, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, with that. These come my way. You can't. <laughs> what? You can't. It has to come my way or I can't get it in the hole. I'm telling you, if you need a harder bolt, I think I could do it. Let me see the bolt. Maybe I had the wrong bolt. There we go, that one's a little bit longer. And you told me to throw these bolts away. That's right, I did. Right there's our old seat belt bolt holes. Gotta have seat belts, right, Mom? Yep. I can't believe these guys are just, they're like cardboard, like. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's incredible that that's all that holds <laughs> this battery and stuff in place. It's really crazy. It's a very strangely built car, but it worked. Yeah. That's all that matters. So we're gonna put our brace in here for our lower part of our seat to fit in. We need to patch your floor up right there it's got a couple little small holes but nothing serious battery acid huh yeah nothing to metal size wouldn't fix come on why don't you find something to sit on top of this everybody says you need to insulate this from the seat frame look at that right there oh insulated beautiful i don't know if they had something there from the factory who knows or not i know a lot of people were saying like the seat can bottom out on it this thing's a pain to get in there it is I don't think we know what we're doing with this seat. Put your end down and I'll go up a bottom, baby. No, it doesn't work a bit, does it? Put your end back. No? No? Okay. Nothing works. Cool. Oh, wait, it just fell in. Sometimes I just like sit on it and it kind of goes in. <laughs> Let's try that. Oh, it's installed then. Yeah, looks great. We should definitely take a road trip with this. Mm, yeah, we need to. Look, you really have a trunk back here as well. Yeah. So you kind of have a trunk here and a front up there, and it's there's no way I could sit here. Luxury is what it is. It's just made for children, isn't it? Yeah, it has to be. <laughs> yeah, you can just squeeze you right back here. It'll be fine. Hopefully, with the summer weather, this will unwrinkle. This is wrinkles from where it was in the box still. Yeah. It looks a lot better, though. Yes, I agree. I don't know what's happened to our vacuum. 
But everybody within five miles of here is sheltering right now. It sounds just like the uh, nuclear plant siren. It looks good, doesn't it? Looks really good. I like the wooden shifter ball, that's cool. I mean, the steering wheel, the little rack underneath the dash. I like your little seat covers. I love it. Headliner looks good. Gotta stay good. Yeah. It looks really good. I, I really am happy with how it turned out. Same. Looks really good. Now the time has come that you've time been waiting time. for. Very excited. You want to do this very first thing. Yeah. This is like top of the list. All right. Can you read Chinese? Uh, yes, I can. That's going to help. I would say mom's been waiting for this moment for probably like 20 years. Absolutely. She's always liked these cars. Let's get all our pieces out here, figure out what we got. I'm assuming this is the front and back. Oh, we got some wood. What's that, spruce? <laughs> Such a dangerous. Looks like we're assembling a tent or something. This is like the front and, and the back. And assembly times two. Are they the same then? Yeah. These they look different to me. The I guess they're just facing back. different directions. Yeah. Long cross tubes. Are you sure? Yeah. We have two long ones. So this is the center one. Yeah. Is that how this works? Yeah. What holds it get? Bolts? Yeah, probably. This is really funny. Look, they MIG welded it, and the wire obviously was sticking out, so they just painted over it. Yes, All right, put two of those facing inward. And once you get those two on, I think we can sit this on here. Dock the shuttle. We're leaving all the bolts loose for now until we get it completely assembled. Whoopee. This thing's getting quite a few upgrades. It's awesome. You know, finally feel comfortable driving it more, you know? Yeah, I did too. So all these are curved. So you gotta look, like I put this one on backwards at first. This is all bowed this direction. So are these. So Ralph, that goes over there. And I think these go to like the third hole over like this. Okay. The pictures, look, this is what we're look, dealing with. It, like you just can't hardly see any detail to it. Does it go over that? Yeah. And then the brace goes on top of it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Best I can tell, we have two wood slats that are different. They have squared off edges, so I would assume those are our end pieces. So maybe that goes here, there, I guess. Yeah. Here, I think the rest of these are all the same. What are you going to put up here? Surfboard, maybe. Surfboard. Nice touch. Even though we live like five hours from the beach, you know. Surfboard. Maybe. Or or just old looking luggage. You just depend. Just get all the bolts in there, Ralph. There's some longer bolts that go where these braces are. It says to leave everything loose until you actually have it installed on the car. It's not too bad to assemble once you figure out how it goes. Yeah. I thought you were holding this in. Well, it's supposed to be, but... <laughs> then you remember you remembered you had your cool cooler? Yeah. <laughs> that thing is pretty cool. It's awesome. It looks good on there. It goes on the opposite sure. direction, I thought it did. This is not the front and back, it's, this is the side. So I thought what? these were the front and back. It's actually the left and right. Oh wow, this is crazy. Oh, don't scratch my car. It's got rubber feet. It's in, oh, it's in, the, in the lane gutter, it says. Is that good your lane gutter? Yeah, I got it. And these plant guys go over the bottom of your rain gutter and then tighten down with the wing nuts. Got it. I would assume it goes right the back edge of the door, it looks like. I was trying to make sure it's even. Mine's hard to get. Yeah, it looks pretty even to me. We're great. Let's see yours. Oh, right there. It looks impeccable. Okay, tighten it down. That does look cool. Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. I love it too. Look at it. I always love like the old timey accessories that you just don't see on newer cars. Yeah. Like visors mm -hmm. and roof racks and like the vent window things. You know they had like the air conditioner thing yeah. that on the side of the car? <laughs> always like that stuff. You like it? Yes. Pretty cool, isn't it? Looks yeah. really You're gonna hug your seat if you don't lean forward. Literally could not look any better. It looks great, don't it? Yeah, it looks great. I love it. I'm glad we did this. Yes. Yeah. Good. Is it everything you had hoped? And more. Well, I'm going to turn your wing nuts this way for aerodynamic purposes, okay? Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah. I ought to give you a couple more mile per hour at least. So now we're supposed to tighten those down according to the detailed instructions. So the factory pressure for these casings is 19 in the front and 27 in the back. So I'm going to set it to the factory. There you go. 
What do you think, Mike? Throw it here where you want it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they would have used back in the 70s to hold something down. I don't know if these were around back then or not. We need some like a period correct strap. This is absolutely incredible right here. Just throw it in the door. Yes, that's already there right there. There you go. Beautiful. Got your pool, you're ready for a picnic. <laughs> The roof rack definitely adds a lot to it. The weather strips, not having big rat holes in your headliner also helps for yeah, sure. It really does. <laughs> me yelling. Yes. All right, were well, you ready to drive it? Of course I am. Let's go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hopefully it runs still. Yeah. Start right up. Oil pressure lights off. Think you can make it out over the snow? Maybe. <laughs> pretty snowy out there. Figure that shifter out. You got a big snow hump to go over. These things are made for the snow. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Slow her down. Well, it's melted off out here. This is the worst, I think. Knock this thing off the <laughs> about. First thing, I was like, watch out for the tree. Maybe it's not such a good idea to have, let her have anything up there. Yeah. I was like, watch out. I should have put it in the middle though, because if it moved over, it would come loose. Our generator light is on. The bell's still on it. Oh, look at that. Oh, little loosey goosey. Yeah, let me tighten it up. We're pretty much a train wreck. We forgot to put gas in the car. I was like, make sure we put gas in, then we forgot. We got a couple things to fix here. <laughs> it looks good out here in the snow, though. It does, don't it? Yeah. It looks good anywhere. Oh, that's true. It's true, but it looks good. It's funny that this car even has a generator, considering it's a, what, 1971? Is that yeah. what it is? 71, like, yeah. What other car had a generator in 71? Most every car in the U.S., I think, they had pretty much stopped that stuff early 60s, like 64, 65, I think. Yeah. I'm afraid to snap it. Oh, there you go. Let's try that and see if that fixes it. Okay. We probably need to upgrade to an alternator. Try to keep it out of the trees this time, okay? Okay. Still got a generator light on. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know. We don't know. Yeah, it'll be fine. Look, you spun and everything out here. Too. That's you. We're getting all muddy out here. Yeah, 
thing was shaking even doing this, wasn't it? Get your boy, let's go. Let's go brave these icy road conditions. Now try your new shifter. Man, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, you're not. 
don't have the patience for it. And I don't know if we want to teach you the way mom drives. No, no. You know? Mom is about 15 above the speed limit every time. Yeah. At least somebody scraped this hill. Yeah. We wouldn't be able to make it up this one if it wasn't scraped already. The gear down, the second. Oh, that's four. She's gonna make a good car for you. I think she will too. I don't know how they do on the interstate. Let us know. Huh. 
I remember people telling me in the past that they tend to overheat driving interstate speeds, but that may not be true at all. Maybe, who knows? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know. Could you even keep up with us? <laughs> Speed racer. Hey, it went right down the road through the ice and snow like it was made No problem? Yeah. No. With Scooter's help, we made it just fine. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. It, looks a, it, it is the cutest, awesomest car on the road. I'm telling you what. <laughs> oh, we drove right past all those people in the ditch. Yeah. Yeah. Right we have just transformed this automobile. We really we? have. We yeah, really amazing. have. No more death wobble. Hey, it sits completely level now. If you look at it, it's like the same gap. It's, I was worried we were going to go too low, and it sits level. It sits great, really. I don't know why it was so high up. Is that common? I don't know. Volkswagen things. Well, I'm, glad we, I'm glad we lowered it because it looks a lot better. The headliner looks so much better than the old one. Maybe not as good as a professionally done one, but it looks pretty good. It looks it a lot better. Holes in it. Yeah, yeah. I love the roof rack. It's the luggage. The awesome. roof rack is the best. Um, we got to order some more things for it. Guys, we put off this video for a long time waiting on two parts that we were still waiting on. So still. You can expect a future video. We got a couple more really cool upgrades that uh, we need to do to it. Yeah. And some detail work here and there. I think Wall's gonna do some buffing on it. The new weather strips is a huge upgrade. Yeah, it really sure. is. I didn't realize how much better that would make that look. Yeah, it looks, it looks a, lot a lot better. better. It does look for a lot sure. better. And it appears to be original paint car. I think it's not been repainted. But look, check this out. She got sent this in the fan mail a while back. It's got a bottle opener in it. Here. It's only right walk for you to do it. Is it like this? Yeah, you're good. Oh, wow. Look how easy That's that was. so much easier. That's crazy. Yeah. Eat your bourbon barbecue vineyards, drink your RC colas, and hey, maybe get you a Volkswagen Beetle. You Very know? Cool. Oh, right in the eye. <laughs> Man. Just a little conditioner for you. Yeah. Well, I'll be lucky if mom's not driving the hoops off this thing. I guarantee. Until she gets her license. So, you know, you gotta test stuff out. Make sure it's gonna be okay for the kids. Yeah. That's yeah. all it is, just taking care of the kids. Exactly, thinking of you, honey. But you can check out our merchandise at thesleeperdude.com. Woo! We've learned recently that there are imitators out there. Their merch is more expensive than ours, so that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Nope. So we appreciate it if you got it from thesleeperdude.com. Our merch is also high quality Gildan products. That are silk screen printed. So a lot of the stuff you find out there is direct to garment printed and it doesn't last as long. Uh, that's kind of why we got away from Teespring. Part of the reason was because the merch just wasn't great quality. And so, our merch is packed by Marge. Yeah, exactly. It was. <laughs> yeah, if you get if you get merch from us, you know that it came yeah, from it us. It came straight from us. And you can get squeezy paintings from time to time on there. Yeah. You know? But you can check out our second channel at Sleep for Day 2. Too. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at SleeperDude88. Sleeper and you can check out our third channel, if you like pew pew things, at SleeperDude Sleeper Arms. Arms. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. here you go, Mom. No, thanks. I'll take it. He's hungry because we haven't ate dinner yet. <laughs> That's uh, what it is. And big thanks to all the people that sent stuff for her car. There was a few months there where it was just all the time she was getting stuff for her car. Yeah. So, the roof rack, the luggage, the seat covers... Uh, the little thing under the dash. There's yeah, so much awesome. that was sent in. A J-Bugs gift card. Yeah, a gift card to J-Bugs, which is where we bought a lot of the parts for it. Yeah. So, we really appreciate that. And I know we she still does. have a few parts that we haven't put on there, too. Right, we do have stuff. So, if you send something in the fan mail, we get to it, guys. It just yeah. takes a while sometimes. There's a lot going on around here. But I guess let's go <laughs> see the animals. Yeah. Where they is he at? They Where's Ralph? You still ate all of his food. Go for it, Ralph. Ugh. We're out in the braces. Save some for later. See, they stay up here by the building because the side of the wall gets warm and they lay against it all day. And they have casings to sit on, too. Look at Big Murphy. Look at so cute. Ralphie's been trying to train him not to jump on people, but I don't know how it's working out. How you doing, Walkie? Hey, hey, Murphy. Hey, Rocky Jr. Look, the whole group. He grabs with them claws. Here, here, Murphy. You can have one. I don't got them. Mama's got them. Oh, Rocky gets the last one. Oh, Rocky Jr. just about knocked it out of his mouth. Hey, 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 I don't got no food. I come out here and pet him every time I go out. There you go. Give the people what they want, Granny. Wow. I see Viney already. She knows. Look at that. <laughs> he likes to hug, doesn't he? Yeah, he he so goes good. around you with those <laughs> claws in the back. Here's Flower. Hey, girl. Cold out here, isn't it? Hey, Adrian. 
You're looking pretty. He blends in out here with the snow. He's like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> he does play with his toys. I see him out here playing with toys. He likes Ralphie. Hey, girl. We should have took you for the test drive. She's been in the hay. <laughs> here, let's go here. Let's go here. Rocky Jr. wants to get in on this. <laughs> Y'all just so nosy. You're so nosy, guys. <laughs> They've been staying in the barn a lot, haven't they? Oh, yeah. yeah. And remember, Jesus saves. And Dollar General's for every seven miles. It's just the facts.